All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do another video here. Um, you know, uh, we've just been getting our little routine going, um, listening to a little piano music, you know, just doing our thing. Um, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the music. I always just don't feel, <laughs> so it's always too loud. So um, anyways, we're gonna go get into some good news, some bad news. We're gonna kind of break down um, the normal shit, you know what I mean? Like, uh, just break it down. Um, so I think it's been a couple days since I did a video. So like, it feels like a couple days, two or three, I think. Um, so since the last video, um, let me see, battery's charged, so let's check it out. Um, we're on day, I'm pretty sure 25 or 26 right now. So um, let's see. Fuck. I got to look at this shit before I go on here. Um, but like I said, every time it feels like I'm just like, all right, it's a little late. Let's go ahead and wing it. It's like 1 a.m. right now. So, um, what the fuck? Uh, wrong thing. So day 23 was July 14th and then it's, um, 16th right now. Okay. So yeah, absolutely. Um, we're on day 25. So let's go ahead and write that in here. Day... 25. All right. Awesome. Um, we're pretty fucking close to day 30. So let's go boys. Um, I mean, that's just really exciting. Um, it's always been kind of a milestone for me and I kind of feel like every time I've hit day 30, I've kind of celebrated by drinking. So let's hope that we don't do that this time. I really God, shit, man. All right. One second. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and jump into the good, the bad, um, kind of, financial, mental, physical stuff. Um, I don't even remember what my mind state was like last time I did the video. Um, I think I hadn't been having a good day. I don't, I feel a pretty good feeling. I don't, cause I think I had a pretty, uh, interesting slump. Um, and it's no exception. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, the days have been different. They're just different the last couple. So, um, but we had some really good news. So let's go ahead and jump into the good news. Um, so I did call um, Delta Dental, and I'm approved for um, Invisalign. Um, so orthodontics, um, Invisalign is covered uh, as long as I go. Um, oh, actually, everywhere is covered, so never mind. It's uh, What they recommended, though, was an orthodontic person in the network so that there's a flat rate. And so what they do is they cover, they said they cover a flat $2,000 um, of orthodontics, um, so they cover 2000 and that doesn't eat out of my bucket for, uh, co-pays and the yearly, all that. They're just like, it's an orthodontics bank. It's $2,000, any age, uh, you qualify. Um, so they're like, yeah, if you do Invisalign, um, they're like, yeah, so we'll pay $2,000 of it. And then you can use your FSA or HSA, which I have about 2000 something in right now. Um, so basically, um, you know, once I get my teeth stuff, uh, done. I'm going to be doing the orthodontics appointment and we're going to go ahead and start Invisalign. So it's going to be really exciting. Um, be able to fix, uh, you know, my teeth and, um, you know, it's something that has kind of bugged me for a while. Um, I've needed to fix my teeth anyways. Um, you know, I have a broken tooth, which isn't great. Um, I have, uh, just things that are like caused me problems that normal people might not have that were caused by either my teeth being, um, you know, causing my bite to be weird. Like when I smile, like, look, it's like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's just like, it's my teeth. I have, they don't line up correctly all the way. And so it causes the way I eat. It causes my smile. It causes like my jaw to just like be different. Um, and I have a broken tooth um, that I need to get fixed. And then I have, um, I just need to get the deep cleaning uh, in my teeth. And it's what it's going to do is just going to remove any plaque or any kind of darkness off my teeth. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at when I do the, uh, Invisalign, they're going to go ahead and do uh, whitening for my teeth. So I'm going to get my teeth professionally whitened. Um, like I said, as I start getting stuff straightened, uh, do a really strict routine and just kind of, like I said, super exciting stuff. Um, the tattoo stuff, I did reach out to one of my friends um, who does tattoos. It's somebody, an old friend of mine, um, and they do tattoos in a shop in Joplin uh, called Blacklist. Um, and so I was talking to them about stuff. And so what I think I'm going to do uh, reality wise is I think I'm going to do um, like a Reaper like down here and then like the angel or Archangel Michael up here and then maybe do some like clouds to kind of fill some of the rest of the stuff out. 
I don't really think too wild, um, but um, that's going to be more for like later on in the year. I'm not looking to do anything too crazy right now. Um, I did also look at um, where I'm going to invest my money once we do um, start getting more closer or start getting closer to the complete out of debt thing. Um, what we're actually going to do is I'm actually just going to start, I think, investing next month. Um, and so it's nothing really crazy. I'm just going to be doing index funds. Um, so I'm just going to do diversified index funds and pretty much probably just go through Fidelity. Um, I might do one of the market accounts that give you a free stock or something stupid. But um, the reality is I just I just want to start, like I said, just kind of getting in there. Um, you know, I've been thinking a lot about, um, you know, my future, um, just kind of like where, you know, I just feel like if I go in there and I'm throwing in, you know, I'm already doing my 401k. I'm going to bump that up a little bit. I'm already maxing it out where I get matched. Um, and then, you know, I'm thinking about doing either the Roth IRA. Um, and then, like I said, but I'm more interested in the index fund investing. Like I said, I wouldn't mind doing like a cup, like a hundred or $200 a month, uh, throw that in there. And then, like I said, it's something that by the time you're like 60, uh, whatever you put in there now will probably be like five or six times that, uh, based on the market. You know what I mean? So it's like one of those things where, um, it can just kind of add up and it's just the longer it sits in there, the better it is. Um, but yeah, wow, it's a lot of shit right there. Um, so to kind of go over yesterday, we went to the gym, um, we've been doing chicken and rice for dinner. Um, we've been trying to do, uh, oats. So we've been doing a little more carbs than usual, just kind of carb loading a little bit. Um, so we've been doing, um, oh, the oat, um, old fashioned oats, almond milk, blueberries, um, just a lot more water, um, bigger meals at night. And so I've been hitting up the gym. Uh, gym has been pretty good. Um, like I said, we're getting stronger uh, every day. You know what I mean? This shirt is definitely one of my favorite shirts, but it is probably too small for my arms at this point. Um, or just me in general. I probably shouldn't have worn like a little medium type shirt. Um, but no, things are just going really good at the gym. Um, you know, I've had uh, the only thing I would say that I would probably change. Um, we're going to have some diet alterations probably coming up this next week. Once I have some time to actually get in the store and, you know, just kind of stock up a little bit on stuff. Uh, probably going to get a little more into uh, chicken and broccoli, um, less rice. I think I'm not really finding that it's changing all that much about my workouts. So, um, I'm really not needing too much, uh, there. I haven't done potatoes in forever. Um, so the carb thing is kind of unique. Um, I still definitely want to do them, um, for like really heavy days and stuff like that. But I think, um, for normal workout days, like a week work day, I might skip, uh, doing the rice and get back to like broccoli and chicken um uh what is the fuck is i gonna say um there's all kinds of shit to be honest with you um i did uh you know on the social side of things um tonight i skipped out on stuff i didn't i skipped out on going out and doing stuff so uh you know there was no real reason i just i just haven't been feeling that kind of thing i just uh I don't know. I just kind of, I had a long day at work and I just kind of wanted to cook and play chess and, you know, play my games and kind of chill a little bit and get finished my work week off. So, um, we already talked about like how we did the overtime last weekend. Um, what was it? I made, like I said, the grand each day. Um, this week has been stressful as fuck to be honest with you. I'm going to kind of go over some of that. Um, and then I think Saturday I'm going to be doing nine to nine. So making a grand Saturday too. Um, if they extend the overtime $50 thing, then I'll make a grand on Sunday also. Um, so we'll make basically making like a couple grand each weekend, um, which would be nice. Uh, but I kind of don't think they're going to bump the $50 thing to Sunday as well. So I think they're probably going to do the $20 one. Um, if I had to guess. So if they do that, I'm not going to do a whole day. I'm not going to do nine to nine for what is it? 50 an hour. It's just, it's still good money, but. There's a big difference between 50 and 80 or 90 an hour. It's just not, what is it, 50? It's 30 plus 20. Well, I guess it's 60. 50 or 60 an hour, depending on bonus. But I'm not relying on bonus. Like, that's just uh, the MPS scores and all that should have been so garbage and, and inconsistent lately. Um, but, yeah, anyways, let's kind of calm down a little bit. I think I'm still riding maybe coffee from earlier. Um, but, yeah, let's go ahead and pick out a cologne. Uh, we're not – I mean, we're wearing a – this shirt is not classy, but it is kind of, it's one of my favorite shirts. Uh, it's definitely a little too small for me at this point, but um, not too bad. Um, anyways, let's go ahead. 
Why is this one bird just spin around? Uh, so I pick out our clone. I already have kind of one I've been wanting to rock. I've been kind of scared to wear it a little bit, so I think I'm gonna. Yeah, I definitely got this one. Um, yeah. So, anyways, check it out. Um, yeah, we're gonna do Prada Loam. I don't think it even says the name on there uh, on the bottom. Well, I don't think you can even see that. But anyways, we got the Prada bottle. Uh, you know, Prada. Anyways, it doesn't really matter all that much. Pretty nice. This thing is sexy, man. This is one of the classiest, cleanest um, colons that I own, to be honest with you. This just smells just good. It smells just fucking good. This smells like what a really, really, really expensive hotel laundry mat I think would smell like and I don't mean like a, a fucking $400 hotel I mean like a, a $5,000 a night hotel like what I imagine that would smell like um it just smells really fucking good this smell man I <laughs> this smell is just really good um this is definitely this has got to be a top 10 cologne this smell is just sexy it's classy um it's just really, really good. Um, I would highly buy this again. Um, I'm almost scared to wear it sometimes because uh, I don't know. It just feels so, uh, I guess, elegant, but like clean and white t-shirt like. Um, sorry, one second. It just smells so classy. And just sometimes I get a little like if I'm just kicking it at my place, you know, what I mean, I get kind of like do I really want to wear it? But I mean, it's mine. You know, I want to feel good. I'm just going to start wearing whatever the fuck I want to wear. I mean, I have so many clones, whatever. If I want to wear fucking Aventus and go to bed, what? why not? Why not do it, right? I mean, I got one life. Fuck it. But this thing, man, I love this bottle too. It's just so cool. It's got the little leather back type thing. It says Prada etched in it. It's just so cool. This bottle is just so cool. And it's just the smell, man. I don't know. It's like fucking clouds and clean and class and luxury and just sexy all around. Uh, highly rated for me. Top 10 clone. I own top 10 thing. I probably ever smelled for a day to day sense for sure. Um, yeah. Uh, anyways, look, we got our legs are getting stronger. Always, um, wearing a little short, short kind of things here today. The shirt is so tight. Uh, <laughs> I definitely am not going to be wearing like something like this again uh probably on one of these i'm probably just gonna rock like one of my little t-shirts i was gonna wear um a dogwood canyon shirt but i i wasn't sure i was just like i felt a little bummy you know what i mean i was like and i saw this in my closet and i forgot about it and i haven't been rocking too many like polos lately so i don't know i was just kind of like you know what let's do that black on black you know what i mean let's just go ahead and do it so um there's been uh i mean i don't know Socially stuff, uh, I don't know. I haven't really been thinking too much about it. Uh, you know, obviously I ran into my neighbor at the gym. Um, they came over the other day, uh, kind of funny. They came over drunk, um, but I don't know. Like I said, just kind of whatever, um, you know. But, you know what I mean? Like I said, we're really not we're really not focusing on social stuff at all. Uh, you know, normally that's something I would do. I'd be like, uh, you know, trying to find stuff to do and – you know, like, oh, let's drink or, oh, let's go out and do this or do that or do that. In reality, I mean, I feel like we're, we're doing the gym thing. We're doing the eating right thing. Um, you know, we're making money and we're at the rate of money we're making, it's just kind of worth just kind of skipping all that bullshit. Uh, we're going to be much better off for it, like I said, in the long run, um, when we're making two grand a weekend. You know what I mean? Like this debt shit, um, like I just got my last check. Um, it's just a regular two week check. And it's like $2,500 before tax. And so I'm just like, I mean, it's a two week check. Like, I mean, it's pretty nice. It's not like, you know, that's just a regular, no incentive on it, no extra shit on a check. Um, anyway, sorry, don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, um, that's just kind of like what it is. Just a regular check, no bonus. No incentive, no that shit on it. And so the incentive stuff is going to hit, um, I think, the middle of the August check. So we're going to have like an extra, depending on how it's to extend the stuff out, minimum we're going to have fifteen or $1,600 incentive 
extra on our check plus whatever overtime we have that week. Um, now, uh, we'll kind of get into the more stupid side of shit. Um, work has just been way, 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 way more stressful. Um, people are fucking wild, man, in terms of like their responses to shit. It's just completely out of control. Um, the people have just gone mad. Um, I don't know, man. It's uh, my, my department. There's just super long hold times, which I haven't had to deal with before. But there's super long holds. The people are fucking pissed. Uh, they're just stressing. They're, I mean, they're trying to stress me out, I'm trying to juggle everything at once. Um, you know, obviously the resolution part I have, it's the experience and the being nice and all that. But we did have that commitment to go in and kick some ass. And we have been trying uh, very hard. Um, it is hard. And like I said, no matter how nice you are to somebody, you know, you can't make them be nice back. And uh, that's just kind of what it is. But, you know, what I mean, you can't let other people control, you know, my reaction to things You know, that's under my control. And so we're going to work at it. Keep uh, it's a work in progress. And we are doing better, though. So obviously, we're doing way better. I did get a message from my boss. He sent me some AZ points for, you know, my commitment to you know, bettering the experience and getting better and all that. So he recognized that. So he seemed to think I'm doing better. Um, I think I'm doing better. I know I'm doing better, but it's just, it's hard sometimes when you have some rough calls. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know. Let's, uh, what else has been bugging me? Um, I mean, nothing really has been bugging me too much. I think, like I said, the carbs have made me feel a little heavier than usual. Um, which is fine though, but you need them. Like I said, to build muscle and all that shit, you need them, um, you know, and uh, normal shit. I mean, like I said, I just think about, you know, um, you know, just, just stuff, um, you know, it's normal stuff that I think about that bugs me, you know what I mean? But like I said, we've already talked about this before. We're not that far out from stuff. And so, um, you know, that's okay. I don't need to, you know, have uh, an ego about it and be like, oh, I'm, you know, oh, nobody bothers me. Oh, you know, nothing bothers me. I'm just happy, you know, I'm just whatever. You know what I mean? Um, I like to be honest and, uh, you know, as much as I can be, you know what I mean? The reasonably, like I don't sit on here and say every single thing I do. Um, you know what I mean? There's, but, you know, I, I want to be honest. Like I said, there are some stuff that bothers me. There's stuff I'm still going through. There's stuff I'm still working on. Um, you know, there's still thoughts of stuff. And like I said, it's, it's for me, um, you know, I mean, it's a big change of pace to go from, you know, planning your future to, you know, for your the rest of your life to pretty much planning your future for like the next, you know, year. Uh, you know what I mean? So it's a uh, it's it's kind of a change of pace. And, you know, what I mean, for me, um, you know, my goals have, you know, in my mind, they've kind of changed somewhat. But at the end of the day, you know, what I mean, I still want the same things. You know, what I mean, I want to be happy. Um, I would like to, you know, start a family. Um, you know, I would like to have, be out of debt, have security, invest my money, you know, like I said, get out of downtown and, you know what I mean? Just be, be the confident, successful man, you know, be smart, be intelligent, be a good person. You know what I mean? Like, um, you know, just do things that aren't stupid. You know what I mean? And, you know, I have plenty of time to turn things around. You know, I've had lots of time to fuck things up. And just like that, I have plenty of time to turn things around. And, and like I said, it's just, this is really just the beginning. You know what I mean? And if I can accomplish uh, everything I've accomplished just in these, you know, what, 25 days of not drinking, who, who knows what I can accomplish with 90 days or half a year or even a year, you know what I mean? Or two years or five years, you know what I mean? That's like, it's just, uh, it just really excites me. Like I said, when I think about it, um, you know, the working out has been going really great. Um, you know, like I said, I am getting stronger and stronger and stronger, you know, um, just the food thing has been going amazing. I've been perfecting, uh, you know, and, and I used to think that I was good at making food. I really did. I was like, man, uh, but I figured out how to use my Le Creuset, um, you know, ceramic, uh, cast iron. And I've just been murdering it, murdering it. I'm talking like we're doing steaks, we're doing chicken, um, you know, we're doing vegetables, we're doing it all the right way and we're making it perfect. Um, and you know, I used to think I was like, man, sous vide is the perfect way to make food. And it kind of is in a way, but there's something beautiful about doing it in the cast iron properly. Um, and just the sear and the taste and just monitoring everything and doing it right. Um, 
socially, uh, everything I already talked about that financially, like I said, we just, we just gotta, like I said, just get out of our, uh, you know, stress zone at work. And, uh, we're going to have tomorrow, Friday, we're getting paid here soon. Uh, just gonna pay some bills, file some stuff, uh, with our internet, um, you know, reimbursement stuff. Um, and, uh, what, just finish our week off, have, uh, Saturday, you know, we're going to work nine to nine and then Sunday we'll see where things are at, but financially everything's going amazing. Um, mentally, we already kind of went over that, um, you know, whatever, but financial, mental, spiritually, um, I have been praying, not traditionally praying, like where I would lay in bed and I get up and like, I, you know, kneel over my bed. Um, I will be doing that tonight, but I've been kind of just talking, um, you know, to God and, you know, thanking him for, you know, like I said, I use, like I usually will kind of thank him for the same stuff. It's just that I am grateful. Uh, you know, he's given me the strength. He's given me the energy. Um, he's given me, you know, what it takes to survive and, you know, apologizing for, you know, only really being there, you know, not only being there, but like, you know what I mean? Asking for help, you know what I mean? Or talking to him like when I need something, right? Or, you know, and, and it's more about, you know, being appreciative also when things are going well. Um, you know, I've learned a lot, um, you know, about myself, um, you know, uh, recently. I've learned a lot about like what I'm capable of, you know, what I can do, um, you know, if, if I want to accomplish something, you know, that I can. Um, you know, I also um, went ahead and pulled my transcript stuff from the school stuff. Um, you know, I've been thinking about uh, doing the school thing since it's free. Um, they've been offering Purdue University and Capella. Uh, I've been thinking about other stuff, like I said, what I want to do, whether it's going to be psychology or IT, uh, cybersecurity and stuff like that. Um, you know, I mean, what route I want to go in that, like what really interests me. Um, and it's just a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of shit uh, going on, um, you know, but uh, I feel like I got a, a pretty nice routine going on and it's been pretty nice. I have been catching up a lot on the, uh, you know, Full Metal Alchemist. It's a super cool show. Um, just about, like I said, these two brothers and just uh, totally fucking crazy. I didn't expect that I would like this show as much as I do, but I've been finding myself laying in bed and, um, watching a few episodes, you know, before I fuck around on my phone and stay up too late. Um, I would say if there's anything I do need to fix a hundred percent, it's the amount of sleep I get every night. Um, I think I'm averaging probably like five hours a, a night of sleep. And to be honest with you, for somebody who's working out as much as I am and, um, you know, my mental health and work and all that shit. Like, um, I really do need to sleep more and better, uh, stop playing on my phone as much and get back to what we talked about, what was working, which was melatonin, cool the room, um, you know, and read, read and, uh, you know, get the fuck off my phone and not be an idiot. But tonight we are going to be getting off the computer a little earlier than usual. So we'll actually just go ahead and knock all of our annoying phone bullshit out of the way. Uh, we're going to pay some stuff off and then um, we'll go ahead and make sure that we get our, get a couple, we'll get a couple episodes in of our show. Um, and then we will go ahead and uh, start reading. We'll do at least 30 minutes of reading tonight, maybe 40, 45. We'll see where we're feeling, um, you know, how tired we are after we take uh, melatonin. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I feel like I kind of went over a ton of shit right now. Um, I don't really know how I went over all that because uh, I don't know. I'm just really excited uh, to get this teeth thing figured out. You know what I mean? Um, super excited. And I've already talked about it, but I'm really, really excited. I'm excited to go see. I've been looking at all the uh, before and after results and all that stuff. So super cool. Um, I mean, there's still a low end chance that I'll just do regular braces, but that's really not my style. Um, you know, I, I'd rather have the 80, 85 percent results and do Invisalign than um, you know, do braces. Um, I just, uh, I just really don't think that's something I want to do. Um, but you know, they have the ceramic braces, which are white. So, I mean, nothing's really off the table. I'm going to talk to an orthodontist and like I said, kind of see what they recommend, but, um, it's just really amazing news, the financial stuff. I was, I didn't really know that insurance of mine was going to cover it after reading from other people with Delta saying they didn't have issues or they had issues where they wouldn't cover anything or they had age limits for orthodontist or, like they wouldn't do it above 18 and all this shit. So it was nice to talk to Delta today and figure out that, you know, my, my benefits and, and talk to somebody who's actually uh, experienced in it. And it was just nice. Um, you know, I'm just feeling really good um, about those things. Um, 
you know, I don't know. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't want to make this video mega long. Um, I have been having some friends uh, talking about doing some trip stuff. I uh, haven't really, I don't really want to get too much into that because uh, reality is I've just been working a lot. And um, I kind of just, um, I kind of like to keep my, my routine going. Like I said, it's just, it's going to be nice to look back and see our bank account and see, you know, our physical stuff changing, our mental stuff changing, our finances changing, just approving ourselves, um, you know, across the board, I think. Um, but we do um, still need to be healthy. And like I said, that's why um, socially, you know, I do think I need to get out there a little more once my schedule changes. And so we'll do, we'll talk a little bit more about the jujitsu stuff, the piano lesson stuff, all that as we make the transition to the new schedule. So um, those are things that I'm waiting uh, to see how things go with at work. Um, and then, like I said, once we make that switch, we're going to be going back to the site one day a week, which is for me, it's going to be on Wednesdays and then weekends I'll still work from home. And so, um, it'll be interesting. Um, I do need to get some stuff. I need to get my tags renewed on my vehicle. I need to get my license renewed, which is, I'm a fucking idiot for still not having that done. Um, at the worst, I'm just going to go down there and get my fucking permit and at, at the fucking worst. So at least I have the ID that's updated because this has gone on way too long. And it's stupid. So uh, I'm an adult. I shouldn't be being an idiot, but um, you know, I, I don't know. I just I let it. I let things go a little too far at this point with that. And um, I don't know. But uh, yeah, um, I don't know. Like I said, uh, other than that, you know, uh, I don't think there's much else I can really add on here. I got this video 26 minutes. Um, you know, it's whatever. Um, but yeah, just wish me luck. You know what I mean? Um, we're a little more upbeat, I think, than last time. Um, you know, obviously it's just the same stuff bothers us. You know what I mean? There's really nothing, no secret to it. It's just, uh, you know, you just got to look at things and just, uh, you know, try to be as positive as you can and, um, just realize that, you know, um, you know, you're becoming, Hey Alexa, stop. Um, you're becoming just a better, you know, person. And so, you know, for me, uh, I'm investing in myself and, you know, we're, we're just getting better. We're taking, we're taking it a day at a time and we're trying to get better, you know, every day. And so, um, it's exciting and you know what I mean? It's one thing. Um, I don't know. I just feel proud and, uh, nothing's perfect, but, um, you know, we're going in the right direction and that's, that's the good news. And so, uh, if anybody out there, um, you know, watches these, uh, we we'll always appreciate it. Um, shit, shit. um, yeah. I always appreciate it. Um, so thank you again if you watch these. Always appreciate it. I don't think there's really much uh, else I think I need to go over. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Let me think. Uh, give me a second. I feel like there's maybe something. Uh, I don't think so. No, I don't think there is anything. I would know because... I've just been kind of being super responsible lately. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it. There's really not much else to go over on this one. Um, just, uh, I don't know. Anybody of you watch this, thank you again. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a good day. Um, again, thank you. Uh, have a good day. I always fucked that up.